Welcome to Qt eLearning channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the soil corrosion. Description of damage. The corrosion of metals from exposure to soils is referred to as soil corrosion. As illustrated in figure, corrosion of carbon steel pipe at the soil air interface where the pipe emerges from underground. Affected materials Carbon steel, cast iron, and ductile iron Critical factors There is no single parameter that can be used to determine soil corrosivity. Soil resistivity testing is frequently used to estimate soil corrosivity as outlined in ASTM STP741 as well as API 580 and API 581. Soil to air interface areas are often much more susceptible to corrosion. Corrosion rates increase, with increasing metal temperature. Soils having, high moisture content, high dissolved salt concentrations, and high acidity are, usually the most corrosive. Other factors that affect soil corrosion include galvanic corrosion, dissimilar soils, stray currents, differential aeration corrosion cells, and microbiologically influenced corrosion. One of the common soil resistivity testing methods is the winner for probe test, as shown in figure. The illustration shows how the probe spacings relate to the apparent depth under test. For example, a 6M probe spacing, as a result, indicates the soil resistivity at a depth of 6M. Affected units or equipment Underground piping and equipment As well as, buried tanks, and the bottoms of above ground storage tanks ground supported metal structures appearance or morphology of damage soil corrosion appears as external thinning with a roughened surface and localized deeper attack or pitting as shown in figure soil corrosion can be highly variable along an unprotected buried pipe or underside of a storage tank bottom as shown in figure cross section through location a showing severe corrosion the arrows point to a location that was at the original thickness prevention mitigation Soil corrosion of carbon steel can be minimized through the use of appropriate coatings and cathodic protection, along with special backfill, to prevent rock damage to the coating. As illustrated in figure example of backfill, the most effective protection is a combination of a corrosion resistant coating and a cathodic protection system as shown of figures. Inspection and monitoring. Smart picking devices employing UT or MFL. Close interval potential survey on a cathodically protected line may be used. A pipe coating holiday survey. Guided wave testing 
can provide a screening tool for metal loss on buried piping. Related mechanisms Galvanic corrosion, concentration cell corrosion, graphitic corrosion, and microbiologically influenced corrosion. Summary Description The deterioration of metals exposed to soils is referred to as soil corrosion. Soil corrosion appears as external thinning with localized losses due to pitting. It can be highly variable along an unprotected buried pipe or underside of a storage tank bottom. Temperature range Operation temperature Affected metallurgy Carbon steel, cast iron, and ductile iron Prevention Soil corrosion of carbon steel can be minimized through the use of special backfill, coatings, and cathodic protection. The most effective protection is a combination of a corrosion-resistant coating and a cathodic protection system. Inspection methods A close interval potential survey on a cathodically protected line. Piping may be inspected by inline inspection devices, smart picking GWT. Indirectly by pressure testing, coding holiday survey or visually by evaluation. Practice time. Question number one. Soil corrosively is determined by which method? Answer is D. Question number two. Which the following is frequently used to estimate soil corrosivity, mainly because it is easy to measure? Answer is A. Question number three. The most effective protection of carbon steel pilings from soil corrosion is a combine of Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.